Our system settings tab here is here on the right. Uh, you can click this open. You can also pin the windows open uh, so that they stay there permanently and don't slide back in. If you want to unpin them, just click that again and they slide away, giving you more space. So we need to look at the system settings. So this is our system and you can rename the system here. Uh, with this version, you can run multiple systems. So uh, we could easily add a system, delete systems, uh, reset the staking and copy uh, an existing system. So under the system settings, we have uh, a settings tab, selections and staking plan options. So under the settings, you can choose your countries that you want the system to apply to, because uh, you could have Australia and say, UK race is loaded in the main window, but this system could only work on Australian. You may have another system working on the UK races. Uh, you can also do that with the markets. One system may only work on the greyhounds or on, and another system may work on the uh, horses, for instance, or one on soccer. You can choose to back or lay. You choose your start time. You can also set this to an uh, official uh, race status. Um, for now, we leave that at 10 seconds to go. Uh, putting a negative number in there will, in fact, uh, be uh, relative to the start time, be after the start time. So minus 10 would be 10 seconds after the start time. 10 is 10 seconds before the start time. So you could have, say, 10 seconds before the start time, and you could say minus 10 for uh, bet time ends 10 seconds after the start, start time. This is your odds range, and uh, we have uh, a minimum and maximum amount of money percent. Uh, money percent is uh, the value of the selection uh, you can see here. This is the total volume divided by, um, this is, the, sorry, the volume of the selection divided by the total volume. Um, very useful for de de determining if uh, a favorite is perhaps a real favorite or, or maybe not. Number of runners in the race or in the market. So for uh, horses, it could be anything from three runners to 20 runners. Um, greyhounds have six runners or eight runners. And soccer markets might only have two or three options. For instance, uh, uh, the match odds markets might have uh, two, might have three markets, home, away, and draw. So there'd be three selections effectively. Uh, you may only want to bet on horse races with at least six runners, so you can set that here. Uh, the back leg ratio is um, uh, the ratio of the back odds to the lay odds. So if you, you can stop bets going on if there's not a lot of money in the market and have a huge spread. Max stake liability is what it is. That's the maximum stake that you'll be able to put on an individual bet. Minimum maximum number of bets. You can bet on multiple runners. Or multiple selections or just a single one or single selections you can specify the minimum amount match which is the total amount of volume on the market same as what is displayed on Betfair the min back and min lay book is uh, as shown here this is the back book percentage and this is the lay book percentage again it's as shown on the Betfair website uh, you can specify those the max book percentage of selections is uh, the book of your selections so it could be uh, if you're dutching some horses you could bet on the first and second favorite um, the total of those odds in a probability term uh, is what you can you can say you want at least a 50% book of the first and second favorite uh, that can we can go into that later in, in a later video Min place winners, max place winners, that's the number of places on the race in the place market. So we have the stop conditions here. I'll come back to these in a later video. So below the stop conditions, we have advanced settings. Um, some more system settings. Uh, bet on BSP. If the markets have Betfair starting price available, as shown in this column and the main window, you can take a uh, BSP price, so just enable that if you want that. Uh, unsettled bets allowed uh, allows you to uh, stop betting if there's a bet being pl placed. So if you set that to zero, 
and uh, a bet is placed then no further bets will be placed until the result of that race or event is known so this is good for accurate staking so you may be using a staking plan you need to know the result of the last race and you need to wait for the result so that's good for that uh, if you want to allow more bets through then you can increase that number unsettled bets any system that's an advanced setting and we can do that in a later video but it basically uh, checks other systems you may have uh, for any other bets that have been placed tick offset is useful for placing offset bets you can use that for getting better matches so making sure you do get a match or asking for a better price so for for the back price 14.5 you might want to get a better price at 14.7 14.8 so you can use a positive tick offset if you use a negative tick offset so if you put in a price say 14 flat then uh, you can use that to your advantage to get a better match because Betfair will match at the best price available in this case 14.5 so if you place the bet at 14 it will be matched at 14.5 by Betfair. Skip reserves uh, does what it says on the tin. It just if there's a reserve dog or a reserve horse, then it will skip that race. Uh, price basis back or lay or last price traded. So you can place the bet with all the filters, the odds range being checked against the back price or the lay price. Keep in play allows the bet if unmatched to go in play. Include commission just shows commissions in the main window should you uh, wish to include those or without commissions. Use results profit loss. This is a feature where uh, for in play markets like horse racing it will look at the odds during in play to estimate the winner. So these odds go to uh, 0 or 1.01 .01, and it will estimate the winner from that. And allows you to have a quicker race result instead of the winner coming from the uh, Betfair API as in this column. These results are pretty quick but this can be quicker although it's not 100% accurate so it's just a feature you can have a look at. Virtual wallet amount this allows you to set your wallet or bank amount so the Betfair balance is displayed here and your virtual wallet amount can override this for things like staking uh, so if you're using a percentage of bank related stake then uh, you can set your own bank amount there so it's useful for splitting your bank up for staking purposes you may have two systems and you may have a thousand pound bet for a bank and you might want to use 500 on each so you can base your staking on that now these are further advanced settings and those will be covered in a separate video now it's worth pointing out that if you're betting on, say, the, say you're betting on the first favourite, then all these filters have to be true for a bet to be placed. So the odds of the favourite have to be within the range and all the other filters, etc. The number of runners for the race. So you can stop or allow bets depending on these filters. A quick, easy way to check your bets later on, uh, once the bot is running, is to use this little feature here which is a live view of the filters and which filters are being blocked so bet time window is a common one to be blocked because it's not time for the bet yet that's going to be false as soon as it comes into the bet window or i say maybe 10 seconds before the race or whatever you choose then that will turn to true so it's a good quick scan of all your systems and what filters may be being blocked 